What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. We're out here 25 miles offshore and we are going to be doing some bottom fishing for some red snapper, cobia, amberjack, vermilion snapper, everything you can think of we're going after today. We have live bait, frozen bait. I'm out here with saltwater mercs and I'm out here with Steven and I got, we're on Mike's boat. If you don't remember Mike, he was out here slaying the amberjack last time. We're on his boat again, so let's do it. Appreciate you guys for watching. Let's go. You can see the school is supposed to be behind me blowing up. We're just gonna throw a bucktail through them. See if we can't run any air. What's going on, guys? Welcome to CR Hook. And then today we are going offshore. And if you can't tell in front of me, we're fishing in a frenzy. I have a. Mercs, back over me. Back over me, Mercs. Just slide it out and put it back in. Oh, oh, my, 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 my. No, no. Dude, huge. Oh, you just got sharked. You just got sharked. Steven, pull it. Just, just open it. Just pull that and pull it out. Does that mean I got a mahi? Boba. I did. I seen your mahi jump. It was a big mahi, too. No, that was a shark. Oh, he's right there, he's right there, he's right there, he's... Oh my god, he wanted so bad. Mercs, watch your line, bro, you're gonna get me off. I'm waiting for you to finish. I'm already here. Um. <laughs> that was crazy, you saw that shark, how damn it blew up on it? You try to jump it, take it. Alright. We hold this open, you can turn that off, Steven. God, these things are huge, dude. Yeah, they are. Alright, y'all. We got one. There was a shark chasing. I don't know if you guys saw it. But, uh, this thing inhaled the damn jig. Little, little white jig that I use on the pier works awesome offshore. Alright. Another ban. I think he just turned it off. Another bonita, but we're gonna. Cooler, him. I think we got a good video. I'm using a Goofish slow pitch jigging rod. Now I'll leave all the descriptions and the links to all the gear below. But we have that, and we're using a Shimano Terrarium HGL. I think someone just picked it up. Oh shoot! Uh, it's small, whatever it is. Mango? Maybe it's small. It might be whatever. It's, like I said, it's small. Cobia, cobia. Uh, look like Almaco, Almaco, Almaco Jack. That's keepable. All right, so I just called Namaco Jack while Steven was recording me, and now Steven's hooked up. Yo. All right, y'all. Cody over there got a nice Almaco. Get out of there. As I was setting up my stuff, and then we got here Steve on one right So Almaco Jack, guys, these are very distinct. They're a little tanner, and you can tell because they have this long... You got sharked. Something, dude. I need to go for a look off of you, man. Ah. Get him. Get him. There we are, y'all. Oh, there you are. Another one. That looks like a keeper, too. Something's on it? Damn, Steve. And I got my bait still. We're using a five ounce weight. We have a chicken rig with 80 pound fluorocarbon leader. We got a four aught circle hook right there with some cut cigar minnow. It was a whole cigar minnow. We're using a Shimano Terrarium 16, as you see right there, the HG. The L stands for left handed. And we're using my new Goofish slow pitch jigging rod. So we're going to go ahead. 
Turn on. There it is. You got me in it? Yep. Oh, I'm getting hit. Let's see what it is. It's not the hugest. Crank them up. Another uh, mangrove? Another keeper red snapper. All right. Damn, Another damn, keeper red people. snapper, guys. Not the biggest ones, but they will do. Yeah, hold on. All right, yo. Look at mangrove right there. Another, I'm sorry. Another red snapper Cody got right now. We're actually fishing the Oriskany shipwreck. You can see it's 144 feet here. And on the fish finder, you can see those little markings. Those are all little fish everywhere. So, hopefully, we can find some. Nice feed mat to take him out. Just, just to show you the difference. Let's see if we get him up. We need something good to eat. Uh, I love eating fish. So we need dinner for the freezer. This one's way over here. Alright. There we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, Cobia! Oh. Cobia! Cobia! Are you recording? Cobia! Yep. Damn it! Get, get, get a net! There is get a no net, Cobia! There is no net. Bro! No net. Pick it up, you already told me that's an apple. Here, let's hop Here, here, it's a Cobia. Let's hop, let's hop. No, 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 Grab the gill. No. Bring him here. I'll grab the gill. Let's here. Bro! Please don't lose him. I'm not, I'm not. Don't worry. Go run! Oh, no. Chill, 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 chill. There you go. Very nice. Don't lose them, please. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Oh my god! I just picked him up and hugged him. <laughs> oh my gosh! There we are, y'all! <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. That's gotta be a short. I just picked him up and hugged him. So we're gonna take our pin fish, we're gonna hook them through the eyes. We've got a nice 100 pound fluorocarbon leader. We're just gonna free line this off. We're on our first stop of the day. Chuck them back there. Right. Set the rod in there. Oh yeah, that's a shark, bro. Look, there's one right there too. Oh yeah, I just want him to shake his head. Well, I man, I can't do anything yet. He just dove. Switch around. Does he even record me? You never know. And it got smoked. You never know. It feels really girthy. never know man no it's a, shark? it's a shark yeah there's no way it would have dove if it was another fish we'll reel them in though yeah that's a shark Oh, all right. It was a shark. 100%. You can feel that girth. So some of you may notice when you're watching this video that you see my eyes. So on my fishing pole, you see how it's right there at the top. Then it starts slowly working its way to where it's actually underneath the rod. Now that is called, let me show you really quick. You can see right there. It starts going curved and back down. Now that's called acid wrapped, spiral wrapped. What it does is when you're picking up a conventional reel, the conventional reel tends to do this because all the pressure's up there, but with a spiral wrap, throws it on the bottom. So all I have to worry about is picking up, reeling down, picking up, reeling down, really nice. So let's keep fishing and then go through the hardest part of that head, clean. And you should be able to, that's how I've been catching them all. I ain't really getting dark off. It's getting little pecks. There we go. 
There you go, brother. There you go. Get him. Not huge, but something. Mangroves? Probably. Well, right, that'd be huge. That'd be amazing if we could catch a bunch of mangroves and take home instead of red snappers. They're getting a little fight now. There you go. He knows it's coming up. There you go, Cody's uh, just caught a rod and uh, Crank method. Mangrove, mangrove. Reds. Finally, hey, look, I got, got my red snapper. Oh, there you go. Not huge, but it's a snapper. Tough, got a nice little 20 inch red snapper. As you can see, that's his swim bladder, but we're just gonna leave him because we're throwing him in the cooler. This is food. All right, my friend Steven is there. Mangrove, huge mangrove. Oh my gosh. Yes, oh, sir. Pull them in, pull them in, pull them in fast. Don't hold them over the edge like that. You're hitting a small pinfish down there. Dude, that's a mangrove right there. That is a mangrove, man. Good job, man. Big mangrove. All right. I need a mangrove. I'd rather care. I could care less about any other fish. I just want mangroves, y'all. Oh, he sharked them. Yeah, shark. <laughs> got a mangrove. I got a map. Spots again. Cody's right. Boom. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, that one's nice. That one's nice. Ooh. There you go. That's right. Hook up right here. Come on, dude. You got him. Guys, this is exactly what I, why we came out here to catch dinner. Here you go, buddy. Come on. Conventional again. Don't worry, Steven. I got yours and mine. What are you using as far as conventional rod? I got a Shimano Terrarium. Uh -huh. And a goofish. There you go, y'all. Rod in description here. Gonna check some of these gears out. Amazon affiliate. I'm helping on my camera. Another red snapper. Let's red keep snapper. her. Keep her. There you go. There you go, buddy. Come on over here. Should be good. I did it earlier. No one's seen it. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is, y'all. Yeah. It's coming up top. He's coming up. That's you your line. I don't have my line out. He's trying to go down. But he's done for. That's it, buddy. Your dinner. If you're a red snapper and you're a keeper, you're dinner. Let's see. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! You got him, man. Oh, he said, don't let me go. I said, buddy, you're going in the ice chest. There we are, y'all. Got my Florida Limit. I got a Kobe. I got an Amoco. We've done pretty good. And like I told you guys earlier, slow but steady wins the race, y'all. All right, this is... Got mine on too, okay. Here he comes. It's pretty nice, got some good power to it. Just winch him up. The nice thing about this reel is every single circle I do is 46 inches of drag. Or, so every single crank is 46 inches, that fish coming up. Nice red snapper. Yeah, another one, keeper. As I was setting up, y'all, Cody got hit one already. We, man, that's a nice one right there. Maybe a 20 incher. Yeah, 20. You think so? Probably, probably 20, 22. That's a good size, y'all. Not, not huge. huge ones, but hey, fish is fish, and we're taking some for the family, y'all. Get those uh, freezers stocked up. There you go, man. Get another mangrove for us, dude. Give me a chance. Here's the shine of the day. No, another strawberry grouper. Going back. Catching all those species, man. There it is. Little small one. Here we go. What is it? You got a venting tool? All right, Arrington is hooked up. Yeah. Let's see what it is, y'all. 
Ooh, give me a little tug there. That's why I like these two-speed uh, Shimano Speedmasters because every time they try to go down, you put the full drag lock. It doesn't allow it to. We'll crank them up. Let's go. High sticker. Yeah, I don't know what kind of it is. What do you have? Amberjack. Amberjack on a cigar mano. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he got hit. Oh. That's his season though, bro. Then get them. I don't know how big they're supposed to be and stuff. Oh, sh <laughs> Woo! Dude. Oh my God, that shark almost got me. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, check out that bonita. I mean, absolute tank of a fish right there. Oh, keeping this one. Yeah, we're keeping them all for shark bait. All right, guys. So they say that bananas are bad luck. Well, that can't be true. We have cobia, almaco jack, mahi, bonita, red snapper, mangrove snapper. So superstitions, just superstitions. But what we're going to do is we got a piece of the banana. As you see, we're going to drop it on our little chicken rig. Just going to throw it on there. Drop it down right there. Let's see what happens. Banana going down. Well, that'd be funny. Alright guys. Oh, there he is. Banana? On the banana, guys. On the banana. Oh my god. Wild. So bananas are not bad luck, as you can tell. Let's see what we got. Cody, bring in the last red snapper, brother. We need this. That's it. We got everything. On the gold red snapper is cobia today. Hopefully this is the last red snapper on the banana. Here he comes. I see some color. It looks like a red. We got our last red snapper. <laughs> All right. Last red snapper. That's on the banana right there, guys. That's wild. Well, it was an awesome day out here. I basically used my new combo all day. This link will be in the description i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video we got cobio we caught fish on bananas it was a wild day saltwater merch's link will be in the description make sure you check them out as always thank you for watching i appreciate mike for taking us out and i will see you guys on the next adventure episode also happy fourth of july let's go